I have a private practice that um, I'm still doing uh, at the same time that I'm doing the study and that I was doing before the study. And my private practice is mostly working with trauma and specifically PTSD. So um, the difference that I see between the two is that one of them can take a very long time and that usually with MDMA psychotherapy, it's very fast. So a lot of people say, oh, it was like three years of therapy in eight hour, in an eight hour session. So that has good things and not so good things. I mean, the good thing is that as a therapist that I get to see that process that sometimes in my private practice I don't see because it, it takes so long and you get to a certain place where the client maybe cannot go past that point. So they get some help, but then they're stuck. And it's very, very difficult for them to trust themselves to go beyond that point of maybe a panic or anxiety. Whereas with MDMA, they go past that point. They open that door and they go. So you're able to see that, that, that change happen very, very fast. So that's wonderful. And the part that's difficult is that it does happen very fast. So it can be almost like an identity crisis like wow like this this was me before and this is me now what do I do now I don't know how to proceed I don't know where to go forward which which is where I think integration is really important the integrate integrative sessions to be able to help the participant know what to do now how are you going to go out into the world after what the experience that you've had in here that that is so important because it does leave them a little bit oh like what, what now, what do I do now, what happens now. So if you think of uh, a treatment that maybe gets 25%, um, it helps 25% of the population that has PTSD versus something like MDMA psychotherapy that we've had 83% that have been helped in the studies that we've, um, that we've finished. So that difference is a lot. And so one of the things with PTSD is that because PTSD is so pervasive and it's, and it's so, it, it affects not only mental but physical because of, of the way that people have to be so hypervigilant and control it. So it starts affecting their bodies as well. It's, it's almost like it's, um, we, have to, we have to find something fast because they're dealing with it every single day of their lives. And so if there is a medicine that can help that process so that then they can actually have a life after um, for, the, for the rest of their life, then we want to do it as soon as possible. And that is something that we've had some participants say that um, there is a sense of one of the griefs that comes up with this work is realizing how much of their time, of their life they have not lived. It's a gift as a therapist to be a part of it, to be a part of that change, to be a part of that revolution that happens for a person, to be a part of that reconnection uh, with the parts that they have left behind. It's a really, it's a blessing. It's, you know, it's it. Um, it's just, there's nothing like it to see somebody get their life back and thank you for that. That is incredible.